You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. Be sure to smash that like button. LSU football landed a commitment over the weekend. Uh, kicker Aaron Burrell committed for the class of 2024. He uh, there are the the recruiting services don't um, assign star ratings for specialists, but there are like um, the Coles kicking camp will will assign uh, star rankings for those players sometimes, but essentially. With a kicker and with a specialist, generally what you just want to make sure is that, number one, they've got the physical ability, like you have the leg, obviously. But then also, I think a lot of it is is mindset in, in that, that headspace as well. And sometimes it takes a certain coach to be able to recognize that in a player. Like, you know, of course, we saw Greg McMahon identified that in Cole Tracy when he was at Little Assumption College. But look at what Cole Tracy meant for, for LSU football in this season here in 2018. I mean, LSU probably lose it. They certainly um, certainly don't win the Auburn game. Um, but, I, you know, the Miami game, the Mississippi State game, the bowl game. We forget how many games that season. Georgia, when LSU kept settling for field goals early, um, how many times Cole Tracy was so awesome and, and, and allowed LSU to build those leads. So, yeah, that, that matters in identifying that. Well, um, Aaron Burrell is a Louisiana kid from Parkway. I think the most interesting part about this and taking a, a commitment from a kicker is it, this is an illustration of the difference in um, in college football now that the, the hard cap has been removed. When you could only sign a hard cap of 25 players, it was, it was difficult to justify taking a kicker in every recruiting cycle. Uh, for example, LSU signed Dybert in 22. They signed Peyton Todd a punter the year before, but not a place kicker. Uh, they didn't sign anybody in 2020. In 2019, they signed Cade York and Skinner, the long snapper. Cole Tracy, of course, in 18. Nobody in 17. Connor Culp in 16. Uh, the last time they took a punter before Peyton Todd was Josh Groden back in 2015. So my, my point is, um, it was harder to justify investing a scholarship, one of your initial 25s, into a specialist because you only could sign 25 in a given year, and it might be better if you had a walk-on who might be able to grow and learn, or maybe every second or third year you would take a specialist in that spot. Well, now that the hard cap is gone and you could sign as many players as you want, as long as you stay under the 85, you can justify it. Because I look at, at LSU right now, they, they played the last two seasons without 85 scholarship players. A lot of times you end up giving scholarships to walk-ons because you have it available. So... Um, in this instance, if there's a player you really like, you can take a kicker in every class. So you took Dybert last year. You can take Burrell for 2024. I mean, you can take punters. You can take snap long snappers if you want, just as long as you stay under the 85. So I think we're going to see more and more of this. As far as Burrell, kid from Louisiana who wanted to stay home, apparently has all the uh, all the, the tools necessary to be great. And you know, she's going to need it as uh they got a couple of good young kickers right now with Damian Ramos, and we'll see what role Dybert uh, continues to to fill. He was the place kicker by the end of last season, handling kicking you know, kickoff duties, but um, they'll continue progressing in that area. So Aaron Burrell uh, committed for the 2024 class for LSU. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact, and be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.